I know your cats might not have experienced anything paranormal aside from just living in this house. How can a cat see anything? Okay, enough said. Just watch. So this family is from Vegas and they went on vacation. They hired a pet sitter to check on their cats while they were gone. Uh, but for the most part, they were kind of left alone. When they got back, they realized the cats were really acting different. Wondering if something had happened to cause this shift in the behavior, they decided to check out their home security camera. In no way were they prepared for what they saw. Check this out. Keep an eye on the door in the upper right. What the That's a shadow figure. Watch again. Cat said it was not there. Clearly someone in the house. Now watch that table at the bottom of the screen. Wow. There's only two cats in the house. The other cat is walking through the door and the table starts Yeah, but moving. the thing is, the, the cat go like, this I'm out of here. Well, can you see that cat's just sat there like, what's what the go it's going on here? Oh, it gets freakier too. Watch the door again. That's weird. That would freak me out. It's pretty spooky, right? Yes. What would you do if you checked security camera footage and you saw a weird like that? I'd sell it. <laughs> You'd sell it to this TV show. No, that's pretty convincing because I like the way the cat says it's pretty cool. Thoughts, Mum? What do you think it is? Let's start with that. I don't know. I, d I don't know. Okay. All right, so we are going to use my coined scale of scary called the Woogie Boogie scale. Zero being nothing, 10 being terrifying. It's how you would rate the clip. I give that an eight out of 10. An eight? Holy <laughs> All right. Shadow and the door closing, and the way the cat's in. Pretty cool. What do you give it, Mum? Five. Wow. Yep. Five? Yes! Um, here's so a, if you, you guys... saw that footage, you're telling me, do you, do you give it a five? Yeah, All a right. five. So, fun fact, this was a poll taken by the Associated Press that two-thirds of all Americans believe their pets do, in fact, have a sixth sense and can see things we cannot. I believe that. I believe totally. that, too. All right, next up, this clip comes to us from a security camera footage, which I actually find relatively reliable because it's very hard to doctor. I oh, am... Plus, show it us. All right. So this footage comes from a camera that is monitoring a taxi stand in Japan. People are going about their business, people are coming and going. And then there is this guy. Keep an eye on his back as he starts to walk towards the cab. How weird is that? Oh! How weird oh. is that? Where is it? Look, there's like a woman with long hair. It's a double exposure. Oh, not the double exposure again. It's the same one as the We had a whole season Clock of double work. exposure. <laughs> it's a surveillance camera, right? Yeah, but it's digital. And it goes round on a... On a uh... <laughs> no, we did this. We did that this. Oh, you got one. <laughs> it's... OK, so double exposure on a digital clip doesn't work the same way because well, it records it, a new file every time. Oh, crap. <laughs> we thought you might say double exposure, and so we've actually had an animation made to explain digital double exposure Shut and up how so it's we can get on with you. Hey! Hey! Are you going to watch the film? Yes, yes. <laughs> Good evening, class. Let's discuss double exposure. Can we just watch the film? A photography technique where you expose a single frame of film twice. What? It basically works by taking a photo, Go on. rewinding the film, what and the taking another photo on the same frame what? with another image on it. Weird. When you play those together, it can create a ghostly effect. You got that, Dad? I, I don't know. <laughs> now for digital overlay. A lot of old crap. A graphics technique where you lay two images on a computer and make one transparent, creating a ghostly effect. What? Think of CGI. It's someone with a camera. The mystery of double exposure has been put to rest. We hope. That's a load of old bollocks. <laughs> oh, that was good. 
It's a shadow. It's That's not, not. It's not a ghost. It's a no. digital shadow. No, it's somebody with a, no. a cloak on their head. No, oh, but it's an arm, a, hood a dress. No, it looks like long hair and her head hunched over. My ex-wife. <laughs> it's a, something with the camera. It's not a thing. You so you think it's like some kind of digital when, glitch? When she, she disappears before he, she gets in the car, kind of thing. Uh huh. What do you think it is? Ghost? Yeah. What would you give that on the scale? One. Eight. An eight. Yes. This is interesting. So we've got a, a bit of a flop. We've got eight for you for the cats and eight for you for the lady. Yeah. Do you think spirits can follow people? No. Why not? She might know him. That might have been the chick that ghosted him. All right, gang. We're, uh, we're back filming season two. How do we feel? Fantastic. Beautiful, just beautiful. We've got lots of changes. Mum's got she a different hairdo. Beautiful. Dad's got a different hairdo. Oh, I've got new colour. Yeah. It's grown. See, my, it took me a long time to draw my roots. Draw my roots is colour. <laughs> uh, all right, next clip. This is an alien captured on CCT camera footage. Now, a lot of people genuinely believe it's an alien. Here's an alien caught on camera. So the guy who submitted this, he's a ufologist. He's a UFOologist. Yeah, that's right. He studies UFOs and aliens. And this footage is actually something he caught himself. Keep an eye on that window on the top of the screen. That's weird. That is weird, eh? That's pretty interesting, that is. Oh, it does not end there. Watch the ladder. Wow. Then the creature reappears and heads towards the window. And before he gets to the window, poof, disappears. Some people have said that this could possibly be an alien, or maybe a Pukwudgie. It's got sunglasses on. Oh, those big alien it's, eyes. It's what, a Pukwudgie? Pukwudgies are these, like... Elves. They're kind of like gnomes. They almost think of a garden gnome, but they're mischievous, and they like to destroy outdoor furniture. They're very common in Native American lure, and they love eating strawberries. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> you think alien or Pukwudgie? Pukwudgie. I don't know what it is, but it's... Pretty interesting.